let's look at an application of Pythagoras theorem from AMC 8. AMC is the American Mathematics Competition. Before we begin, I should tell you about the free toolbox that we have created for the students. You can access it using the link in the description. Now let's come back to the problem. The problem says that we have a semicircle like this with diameter Fe. So that's the first point to remember. Diameter Fe. So Fe is not just any chord, it's the diameter of the circle. If you complete the circle. We draw a rectangle like this which is A, B, C and D. Now it's given that AD is 16. AD is 16. FD is 9. AE is 9. So this is 9 and this is 9. All of this is given data. Our goal is to find out the area of ABCD. Area of ABCD. So since we know AD, that is 16, since we know the length of AD, all we know, need to know is the length of CD. Because the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So area, we know area formula, it's length times width. We already know that the length is 16. So all we need to find out is the length of CD. This one. So what is CD? If we can find that out, we can find the length of the uh, area of the rectangle. So let me quickly remind you about Pythagoras theorem. If you have forgotten it, then this is a good refresher of the Pythagoras theorem. It says something about right triangles. So if ABC is a right triangle, then AB square plus BC square is equals to AC square. Right triangle means this angle ABC is 90 degree. There are different ways to prove this result. I have a question for the so-called adult students who are watching this because this is meant for kids. But if you are still watching this, here is a question for you. If angle ABC is greater than 90 degree, can you tell me what is the relation between AB square plus BC square and AC square? AC square being the largest side of the triangle. So what is the relation between AB square plus BC square and AC square? Is the left hand side larger, equal or less than the right hand side? Can you tell me that with some justification in the comment? Okay, now back to the kids again. So AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. We know this from the Pythagoras theorem and we will be applying it. It's very important that you know how to prove this because the proof is also a problem solving strategy. So it's just not a tool. The proof itself doubles up as a problem solving strategy. So I'll give you a hint. We discussed this in our main program for AMC, the American Mathematics Competition. You can check the link in the description for the AMC program. It's for AMC 8, 10, 12. It includes one-on-one -on -one classes 
doubt clearing mock tests and a bunch of other good stuff live classes of course are there so one of the hint is that you can drop a perpendicular from b on the hypotenuse ac let's call this point d and then you can use similar triangles to prove this so if you are a child and if you do not know how to prove this that this will be a great opportunity for you to give it a try okay let me get back to the problem in any circle problem what we usually do is we look at the center of the circle it's always helpful to mark the center remember this it is always it is always helpful to mark center in circle problems it's a strategy that we found very useful over the years even for adults this is true so let's join oc join oc now see o is the center of the diameter this is 9 and this is 9 so of course these two pieces will also be equal because OF and OE are equal. FD is 9, A is 9. So OD and OA must be equal as well. So that means OA and OD are each 8. This is also 8. So what is the radius of the circle? The radius is 8 plus 9. 8 plus 9. That is 17. So OF, this radius is 17. O is the center. F is a point on the circumference. So OF is the radius. You add 9 and 8, you get the value of it. Notice that OC is also a radius, right? O is the center. C is a point on the circumference. Clearly, OC is a radius. So OC is also 17. That's it. We are almost done. We can now apply Pythagoras theorem in this shaded triangle. We know OC is 17. We know OC is 17. We know OD is 8. So we can easily find CD. Apply Pythagoras theorem and find CD. Can you find out the value of CD and finally find the area of this rectangle? Put that in the comment. What is the area? It's just one line of application of Pythagoras theorem. Don't forget to check the free toolbox that we have. The link is again in the description. Thank you for watching and we will get back with more beautiful mathematics very soon.